This is the Linux terminal. It's not as user-friendly as a graphical user interface, but what it lacks in terms of aesthetics and ease of use, it makes up for with simplicity and power. In this video, we'll go over the commands listed here. These are only the most basic of commands which will help you to navigate the Linux terminal. After plugging in your Raspberry Pi, you'll be prompted to type in a username and a password. On Raspbian, the default login is Pi, and the password is Raspberry. Though note that as a security feature, your password is not displayed when you type it. Let's start by seeing which directory we are presently in. We can do this by using the command pwd, which stands for print working directory. Reading left to right, we first have the root directory, which contains everything on the system. One level down, we have the home directory, which contains all user files. The next level down from that is the pi directory, which contains the files for user pi. In other words, our files. We say that home is the parent directory of pi, and likewise root is the parent directory of home. Next, we can list the contents of our current directory by using ls, which stands for list. Here we see six items, four files, and two folders which are shown in blue. If we'd like to see more detailed information, we can use an option. If we type list with dash l, we're using the l option, which stands for long. Among other details, we see the size of the file in bytes, and also the date in which the file was last modified. There's many more options that we can view by typing ls dash dash help. Here we see that dash a can be used to show files that are normally hidden, which begin with a dot. Another option is to use dash h so that file sizes are more easily readable. Note that we can also combine options. ls dash lha lists all files in detail in a human readable format. Next, let's look at navigating between directories. If we want to open a directory, we can use cd for change directory. To open the desktop directory, we type cd desktop. Notice that this gives an error, indicating that the directory doesn't exist. This is because Linux is case sensitive, so we need to type desktop exactly how it's written. Typing list here, we see the files contained in this directory. We should also notice that the command line shows the present working directory here. The tilde is shorthand for home slash pi which we can see if we print working directory. We can also use cd to change to a directory if we know the entire path. To go to the root directory, we simply type cd followed by forward slash. To get to the pi directory, we type cd home slash pi. We could also simply type cd tilde. Another way to move between directories is by using cd dot dot. This will move back to the parent directory. In this case, we move from the pi directory to the home directory. If we move back once more, we'll be back as far as we can go in the root directory. Let's now return to the pi directory and make a new directory. We can make a new directory by using the command mkdir for make directory. Here I've made the directory docs, which we can see using list. If we wish to remove a directory, we can type rmdir for remove directory. And now docs is gone. This will only work if the directory is empty. To remove a file, we type rm, followed by the name of the file that we wish to remove. Here I want to remove the executable file runme. Listing the files, we see that runme has been removed. We can also use rm to remove directories with all of their containing files and subdirectories by making use of options, but we must be very careful as there is no undelete command for mistakenly deleted files. A few additional notes. If at any point your screen gets too messy, you can always clean it up with the clear command. Also, you can use the up and down keys to cycle through old commands that you've previously used, which can really speed things up. Finally, to safely shut down the Raspberry Pi, type sudo shutdown dash h now. sudo gives us extra privileges so that we're allowed to use the shutdown command. The option h is for halt, and the parameter now of course means do it now. 